Libras! Welcome to your weekly love reading for August 7th today, all the way through to August 14th. Hope you guys are doing good. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Those who've been with me for a while, I'm no longer doing pre-shuffle sessions, but I will be talking about my meditative session, and then we'll go ahead and get into the reading. And yes, my hair is purple, magenta, even on camera it looks wine burgundy, um, but it is quite purple in person. Anyway, Libras, I love your freaking energy right now. It feels so zen. It feels so calm. It feels so peaceful, so balanced. I actually was getting a lot of visuals of, um, of nature, mostly pine forests, which I thought was really interesting. And I heard back to basics. I don't know what that's about, but I heard back to basics. Um, Libra, you're just in a really peaceful place right now. And I feel like that peace has come in because I feel like the sun is setting on um, an aspect in your life, a phase in your life, maybe even a relationship, a chapter in your life. You're going through a transition, but it's like it's really positive for you and you feel really good about it. I feel like some of you have been wanting this for quite some time. Yeah, I feel like some of you have been wanting this for quite some time and you just feel really at peace about it. And I do feel like there was a decision at the forefront of this on your part or someone around you. Someone made the decision to, to, to have the sunset, okay, essentially. Hold on, let me get some water. Mm. Someone made this choice, whether it was you or someone you're connecting with. And with this choice comes peace for you, okay? And that's awesome. Who doesn't want that? Especially at Libra, y'all need your balance and y'all need your peace, right? Um, I also have this energy of travel. I think some of you are doing some traveling right now. I just feel movement. And once you have this moment of peace, tranquility, tranquility, like first and foremost, oh, now I'm hearing rain. That's interesting. I'm hearing rain. Um, could be raining where some of you are. This rain's really peaceful to you. I don't know why they want me to really talk about that, but it's just really peaceful for you. And it might also be very cleansing for you to, to get rid of something that did just end or that's coming to an end with this sun setting energy that I'm feeling. I'm also getting energy of currency for you guys. I think money might be coming in with this closure of whatever's closing for you. I do feel more money coming in for a lot of you. Now, Libras, hmm, why do I feel a confrontation? E. Libras, this might be a little calm before a storm. I do feel a confrontation or a meeting of some kind. Yeah, like a meeting, a conversation, a confrontation. Not in like, not in an abrasive way. It, it doesn't feel negative. It doesn't feel negative. I just think you're so zen that it's like, oh no, my tranquility is being disturbed. <laughs> My peace is being disturbed by this meeting or this person. I, yeah, I, yeah, Libra, I do feel like you're going to be hearing from someone or talking with someone or having a confrontation with someone um, that might be disturbing this Zen mode for you, but it's after the sun has set. I want to make that very clear. It's after the sun has set, Libra, that you're going to have this tranquil moment, period of time. You're going to be loving it. You're going to be in your energy. You're going to be balanced. And then there's going to be this person coming in to speak, to talk, or a meeting of some kind. You might just meet somebody, um, but it doesn't feel negative. I really want to hit that home. Whatever this meeting is with this person, new or old, it doesn't feel negative, okay? So let's go ahead and get into your reading. Anybody who has any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret a tarot reading, please check out the link below. It's energy. It could be vice versa. Gender does not matter, okay? And it's what any facet of your life, okay? I think I have a lot of newbies watching this Libra reading, so I feel the need to say that. All right. Any messages for Libra regarding love from now until August 14th? Yeah, I'm still getting a lot of movement. A lot of movement. A lot of travel energy. Enjoy it. Enjoy it, Libra. The travel feels positive. Even if you're just getting away for a weekend, it feels positive. But back to basics. They're bringing me back to that. Back to basics. I think that's regarding your routine, Libra. Oh, ha, now that this, oh, that's so funny. The sun has set. I'm like, oh, the sun just disappeared. And now you can see the purple. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, mm. Yeah, whatever the sun setting is, Libra, it's, I think it's bringing you back to basics in your routine. Yeah, in your routine. It's positive. It's really positive for you. Any messages for Libra regarding love from now until August 14th? Okay. Any messages for Libra regarding love from now until August 14th? Oh, I would say it's positive. Nine of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy. Fears. Anxiety. <sighs> Dissipating. 
dissipating. I'm telling you, the tra the tranquil energy is like really intense, but I like it. I really like it. It's making me feel so calm. Mm. And it feels so warm. I like it. I like it, Libra. Whatever this anxiety you've been having, stress, I'm hearing stress, whatever anxiety and stress you've been carrying with you, it's dissipating with the sun that's setting. So for some of you, like I said, you could be coming out of a relationship. Uh, maybe, you know, you were at a very stressful job and that's ended. And it's like, it's, even though if it's, even though it sounds like, oh no, something's ending, it makes you feel so much better, whatever it is, okay? Any other messages for Libra? Regarding love from now until August 14th. Mm. Yeah, Libra, I like it. I like it a lot. Any messages for Libra? Regarding love from now until August 14th. Ooh, nice. Six of Wands, Jupiter Leo energy. Oh my God, the world. Fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, and Jules, Capricorn. And then we've got the Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, major balance. Oh my God, major balance. Yeah, whatever this is, Libra, you had a lot of anxiety about whatever's ending. Whatever's ending, you had a lot of anxiety about it, a lot of stress, mental torture. Oh, interesting. Libra, I feel like some, some for some of you, not all of you, some of you who are resonating with this, someone got in your head is also what I'm getting. Someone got in your head. Because that's what I'm getting. It's almost, uh, it, uh, it, it's like, ah, oh, God, stop it, stop it, stop it. It's like, it feels like that kind of energy. Like, I can't take it anymore. I can't take this shit anymore. But like I said, it's dissipating. You might have a little bit of a panic moment whenever this sun sets you might have a little bit of a panic moment but you're gonna feel immediate relief and look at this look at this look at this six of wands victory with the world card so again coming into something new the sun has set so that the sun can rise again in something new in your life something new is coming here libra and it feels like a major victory for you it feels like a major win i'm also getting some public recognition with this and with a two of pentacles i'm getting major major balance major balance the right decision was made the right decision was made. Let's see what else we have here. We just got a card, Knight of Cups, but I got drawn back into this Two of Pentacles. There's loyalty coming your way, Libra. They want me to emphasize that. Whatever it was the sun is being set on, I think you might have questioned loyalty around it, but loyalty is coming. Loyalty is coming with whatever this sunrise is okay but then we had oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah knight of cups piscean energy could also be water or fire Ooh, ooh, libras i like it i really like it i really like it a lot um yeah some of you are definitely coming out of a relationship it was a major victory for you major stress release major peace and tranquility is coming in and then all of a sudden oh looky here someone new oh libra i like it I, you guys are making me feel giddy. What's this about? I feel all giddy. Uh, uh, any messages for Libra? This person makes you giddy. Whoever this is, Libra, they make you really giddy. I'm like getting blushing energy. Oh, I, like, I can't stop smiling. Any messages for Libra? Wow, Libra, that's it. Overall energy, two of wands. Two of wands, Aries energy. You just have to make the choice. It was a right decision to have the sunset here. Whoever made the choice, you were the person you were connecting with. Um, the sun has set. You're no longer stressed. You're no longer afraid. That was a right decision. Whatever ended, it was the right thing. Coming into something really brand spanking new, feeling really confident, really good about yourself, feeling really balanced, really, really balanced and loyalty coming your way. And then looky here. Someone coming in with love, with love and passion. Keep in mind the Knight of Cups sometimes can be a bit of a flirt. But they're coming with, with love, first and foremost. They do come in with love. They can be a little charming. I think that's why you're so giddy. This person knows how to make you smile. They know how to make you laugh, Libra. I even hear some of you are just like, oh, stop it, stop it. Like, <laughs> like this person can be a little extra, but they, they're extra for you because you like it, because it makes you smile. They love me. Oh my God, I'm loving this person. They love making you smile, Libra. And overall, this is you being at a crossroads of, wow, I, I, I got rid of that awful phase of my life, that awful relationship, that awful thing that gave me so much stress and anxiety. Now I'm like brand spanking new. 
feeling really damn good, feeling really peaceful, and now here's this person. Here's and it feels like a new person, Libra. It really feels like a new person. And you're just like, oh, oh, what to do? <laughs> what to do? Some of you I think are in a mood of like, I just got really peaceful and balanced and happy. I don't want to fuck that up again. Some of you are kind of in that mode, um, which is why you're a little bit like, yeah, I don't know if I should take this, but this person makes you smile so much. I, I don't know, Libra. I feel like it's kind of an easy choice. But let's go ahead and get into this energy a little bit. Let's look at the Nine of Swords universe and see what's setting, what the sun is setting for you, okay? Let's use right away for this one. My glasses are really bothering me. So we have a Nine of Swords in reverse for Libra regarding love for now until August 14th. So I got Nine of Swords in reverse for Libra regarding love from now until August 14th. So I got Nine of Swords in reverse for Libra regarding love from now until August 14th. So I got Nine of Swords in reverse for Libra. Let's see here. Wow. Lovers, Gemini energy. So my divine soul connection card, a very, very intense, divinely guided relationship. They don't always work out, but divinely guided relationship here. Oh my. Oh, Libra. Libra. This might be a blast from the past. Okay. Just saying. Just saying. Happens all the time. Knight of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. Eight of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. Yeah, whatever you let the sun set on, if it was your decision or their decision, it was basically like someone not acknowledging a connection, someone not giving to a connection. But with the Eight of Swords in reverse, it's release. You've been released from this pain. You've been released from the stress of someone not appropriately giving love to a connection, okay? So when I say that, Knight of Cups in reverse is my inappropriate lover. So someone who just is like complete shut down, doesn't know how to give love, very cold hearted, can even be very like cutting with their words, just not giving with their emotion. Or they could be giving it to everybody and not you. You know, it's very inappropriate love, love situation here that was going on. And Libra, it was just too much for you. It was too much. I just heard... <laughs> Can you act right? Some of, some of you like have this this thought about this person, like, God, can you learn to act right? But you released yourself. You were released from this. With the sun setting on it, you released yourself from it. But I gotta be honest, Libra, for some of you, this might be a blast from the past. It might be this person that the sun set on and now they're coming back in. That's probably gonna be for like a handful of you. But let's go ahead and get into it. Tell me more about the Nine of Swords in reverse. King of Wands just came out in reverse. Leo energy could also be fire or air. I wanna get more of the cards out first. Getting a lot of energy with that King of Wands in reverse. Tell me about Nine of Swords in reverse. I just heard Aries. Tell me about Nine of Swords in reverse. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Libra. King of Wands in reverse. Leo energy. Close to be fire, air with the Nine of Swords. Gemini energy. Whoever this king is, I do feel like it's the other person. The other person that you were connecting with. Really freaking upset. Really freaking upset. Tell me about Nine of Swords in reverse. Could, some of you are asking me, could this release have happened a while ago? Yeah, it could have happened a while ago. We all work through energy differently. So we got Nine of Swords in reverse. Wow. Okay, Libra, I see what's going on here. You're the one who decided to let the sun set on this. I see. With this energy, whoever this was, hold on. These are all the clarifying energies for, you, for that stress dissipating. You were dealing with someone who didn't know how to give properly or who wasn't giving to the connection in the way they that you needed them to, they weren't showing up. They weren't showing up appropriately. They keep wanting to say appropriately because even if they were showing up, it wasn't appropriate. It wasn't healthy. Thank you. It wasn't healthy. You were the one who decided to cut yourself from this. And the fact that lovers is still upright tells me that that connection is still very strong. But you were like, you know what? You don't know how to act right. You don't know how to act right. I'm not I'm, I'm not sitting around for this bullshit. I'm not sitting around for this bullshit. I'm releasing myself because I don't need the fucking stress. Sorry, I'm like, I'm feeling your agitation with it. Because I don't need the stress. I don't need the stress. And when you did that, Libra, oh, what it did to this person. Uh, this King of Wands in reverse is someone who's afraid to take action. They're not very confident right now. At least when this release happened, whenever you cut the release, I've cut the release whenever you initiated this release the sun setting we'll just say the sun setting it put them in a state of fear it put them in a state of anxiety i don't think they expected you to do it 
Some of you just did this energetically. Some of you actually went ahead and been like, I'm done, I'm out, bye bye Some of you actually went ahead and did that, okay? Overall energy, chariot, Cancerian energy. This is you having that release moment of being like, I don't need the stress, I don't need the anxiety. You're either gonna learn to act right or I'm not sticking around and you clearly don't know how to act right, so I'm not sticking around for this. Energetically or physically or emotionally, and it put this person in a state of major fear and anxiety. I'm getting a lot of late nights, a lot of lack of sleep. A lot of lack of sleep, actually. Shit, this person's drinking a lot of a coffee, espresso, energy drinks, a lot of caffeine to get through their day. Um, you kind of shocked this person, Libra. You shocked them. They didn't expect you to do that. They didn't expect you to do that. I do feel like this person is, is quite insecure, though. They're quite insecure and a little domineering and a little controlling because they're insecure, okay? Let's go ahead and keep it moving with your new beautiful, this is all your tranquility, okay? Your tranquil confidence. Oh man, I feel so happy. I feel so balanced. This is like a whole new thing for me. Oh, it feels good to get rid of the energy. Like you're, this is you just rocking your shit, okay? You rocking your shit and then get a little visitor, okay? New or old, it's a new little visitor here. I am curious about this Two of Pentacles because I'm feeling more of your balance with this, but I'm also feeling this person coming in as your balance. They might even be watching you, Libra. And it's funny, I just realized this dog, he has a little baggy, baggy. He has a little brown bag in his mouth. He's bringing you something. He or she bringing you something as your balance. Look, you even got a little yin yang on your head. <laughs> You're too focused on you and your own shit. You don't, I don't think you know this person. You're not surprised this person might be coming in. Again, new or old, new or old. You're not surprised, but you are so focused on you and just happy with your life that you really don't want to fuck up that balance. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Two of Pentacles because there's something going on there. Um, use Gil yeah, Gildan. Let's go for Gildan. Then we're going to look at this Nine of Cups for damn sure. Talk about the Two of Pentacles. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles for Libra regarding love from now. Oh, oh my God. We've got a peeker. Mm -hmm. I knew I felt this person coming in on your Two of Pentacles. <laughs> Nine of Cups, Piscean energy could also be water or fire. Yeah, while you're busy minding your business, being all zen, doing you, enjoying your life, feeling yourself, really feeling yourself, Libra, this person comes in. Again, new or old, they come in. Tell me about Two of Pentacles for Libra. Regarding love. From now to August 14th. I'm hearing blocked, 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 blocked. Uh, for some of you, this person might have blocked you or you might have blocked them at one point, like, you know, digitally. Interesting. Three of Cups in Reverse, Cancerian Energy. They're wanting to bring in a Three of Cups energy in, but the fact that it's in Reverse tells me that they, that they might be blocked, Libra. You, you might have this person blocked. Yeah. Blocked energetically or digitally, thank you. Because I was feeling digital hardcore, but now they're saying energetically, yeah. Because like I said, even for some of you, you, you did this release, the sun setting energetically for some of you, not physically. So this block, for some it's physical, some it's energetic. For some, this is a reconciliation they're trying to make happen, that this is the person that you try to be like, nope, I'm done, thank you, no thank you. Uh, so keep that in mind, for some it's old, some it's new, okay? And the new person, you're just blocking them out energetically because you're just really feeling yourself. Like, and you don't even realize that it's like, they're really trying hard to come in. Yeah, Three of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy. They wanna work with you. They wanna discuss, they wanna discuss some things. Sit down, have a coffee, ooh, or a drink. They wanna sit down, have a coffee or a drink and talk. They wanna talk. New or old, I need to emphasize that because I know some of you are like, I'm so sick of these people from the past and all that stuff. Guys, new or old, you all are in different scenarios. I'm reading for thousands of people, literally, in this one reading. So keep that in mind, okay? By the way, you do have two threes here and two twos. Tell me more about this Two of Pentacles for Libra regarding love. From now until August 14th.
you know what Libra it's interesting they're trying to this person new or old they want to bring in tangible the tangible with you like you know sit down have a conversation maybe even bring you a little offer of some kind with that little baggy <laughs> little offer whatever that little offer is um <laughs> Sorry, they like they actually showed me what some of you are actually going to. They actually showed me what this person might be bringing some of you, and some of you it's um, 420 friendly stuff. So enjoy that. Um, anyway, they they are holding back a little on the emotional, new or old, because they can sense that like you you know you just ended something or you just got out of something. If this is a new person and if this is the old person, because it's like they know if they go there, there's going to be a little bit of a trigger. So that's why they want to be the tan like bring in the tangible first and have an actual talk about just basic basic stuff of what's happened what's going on you know what i mean it's like before you guys get to the deep stuff i'm hearing direct as well they want to be very direct with you so about the two of pentacles so about the two of pentacles for libra so the, oh, I'm sorry. I really like this person. I know for some of you, if it's the person from the past, you're like, fuck them. I'm like, I get it. But I'm sorry. I'm really liking this person. Tell me about Two of Pentacles. They're so charming that it's like, they're, they're just so charming. That's what it is. They're just so charming. All right. Now we have, wow, the Knight of Swords. Gemini energy, again, what did I say about direct? This is very direct communication. Gemini energy could also be uh, fire or air with the five of pentacles, Taurian energy, and the eight of cups, Piscean energy. They they want to be come out of the cold with you. For those where this is an old person, they want to come out of the cold with you, and it's definitely the person you release yourself from. They want their ten of cups. The eight of cups tells me that they want to leave this loneliness, this lack energy, and they want to go towards their ten of cups with you. And it's very direct. It's very honest. They might even just say it, Libra. They might even just say, look, you make me happy. I want this. Let's do this. That's it. Like, they, they might even be just like that direct about it. It's a little endearing. It's a little bossy, but it's a little endearing. Some of you guys like that. So a lot of you guys don't. A lot of you guys don't. But there's a couple of you that like that. Where this is a new person, it's almost like they're trying to be very convincing. Where this is a new person, like Libra. I know you're feeling yourself. And that's why I like you, because you're feeling yourself. But wouldn't it be great to, you know, not be alone in feeling yourself? Wouldn't it be great to be in a Ten of Cups feeling yourself with someone else like me. You know, like they're very charming. They're very charming, Libra, very charming. This person is too much. Overall energy, we have Nine of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy, that release is coming back up again. So like I said, Libra, for some of you, you're like, I just got to an awesome place. I don't know if I wanna do this. Can I enjoy this for a little bit? I just got rid of this stress. I just got rid of this anxiety from that thing that you shared with this person or that thing that you know you just got out of and this new person's coming in right i just got out of this shit but underneath that yeah yeah four of wands <laughs> aries energy you're seriously thinking about it libra you're seriously thinking about it and like i said new or old this person's very charming new or old they're incredibly charming incredibly charming they really want you libra like they really want you and they're going to put on the charm as much as they have to. And they're going to be as direct as possible with you. And just very honest as well. I like that it's actually the Knight of Swords because that's a lot of honesty. That's a lot of honesty. Let's go ahead and look at the Knight of Cups and then we'll wrap this up with some advice, okay? I'm going to use Steampunk as the clarifying energy. Tell me about Knight of Cups. Ooh. Tell me about Knight of Cups for Libra. Regarding love, from now to August 14th. Tell me about Knight of Cups for Libra. Regarding love, from now until August 14th. One more. Tell me about Knight of Cups for Libra. Regarding love, from now until August 14th. Tell me about Knight of Cups 
for the person where this is new, like where this is a new person for you, Libra, I think that they have been quite lonely in their own life. Um, I think which is also why they're being a little persistent. Tell me about Knight of Cups. For Libra. Regarding love from now until August 14th. Tell me about Knight of Cups for Libra. Regarding love from now until August 14th. Seven of Wands in reverse. Yeah, no defenses. Oh, I like this energy, Libra. Leo energy. They're coming in very direct, very honest, and vulnerable. Vulnerable as well. They're being very vulnerable here, Libra. New or old, they're being very, very transparent with you, which I think is not easy for this person to do. New or old. Tell me about Knight of Cups for Libra. I'm hearing I know myself. I think that's what this person's saying. I know myself. I know my flaws. Okay, I like that. Tell me about Knight of Cups for Libra. Regarding love. Tell me about Knight of Cups for Libra regarding love. And honestly, Libra, this could just be like, you know, if you're in a committed relationship, this could just be you two making up, okay? Tell me about Knight of Cups for Libra regarding love from now until August 14th. Four Swords in Reverse Libra Energy. Ooh, Libra! They might ask you to go away with them. Four Swords in Reverse Energy is really needing a break, really needing to get away, needing to rehab, needing to disconnect from the world. Libra, they might seriously straight up ask you to go on a little trip with them. Um, I'm also getting this energy of like, for those where this is an old person, this little break while you've been on your little zen mode between your sunset and your sunrise as you've been feeling yourself and all tranquil, this person is going to tell you that they've been needing that break as well, like they needed it. Like you both just needed a break from each other where this is an old person and they're gonna be very honest about that. I just needed a timeout. That's what they're gonna say. I just needed a timeout, I needed a break. Clearly we needed a break, you needed a break from me, but I love you, I care about you. Come on, Libra. Don't you want the Ten of Cups with me? Oh, again, very charming. Very charming. Very persistent. Very persistent. Overall energy, we do have the Page of Swords, truth, and they have been watching you. They've definitely been watching you, Libra. Waiting for the right time. Waiting for that little window of opportunity. They've definitely, definitely been watching you, but they are speaking some truth. They're speaking truth as a page and a knight, okay? I would, I would be happier if they were kings, but that's okay. A knight is nothing to, you know, shake your head at. A knight is basically a king on the move, is how I like to look at the knights. Because a king doesn't move. A king delegates. You know what I mean? A king delegates. A king doesn't move unless they really, really, really need something to happen. And when they do that, they come across as a knight. Okay? Kings were once knights. Don't forget that. But yeah, Libra, I really love this energy. At the end of the day, overall, you're at a crossroads. You're the one who gets to make a decision if you want to... If you want this person or not, new or old. Okay, it's up to you. You're feeling yourself and that's all awesome. That's all good. Decide what you want for yourself. Okay, let's get some advice using the Spirit Animal deck. Any advice for my Libras? Come on. Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? 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 Let's see here. Oh, sorry. I just got really excited. Okay. <laughs> Rabbit spirit, now is a lucky time. 49 breaking down to a four in otter spirit, you are never alone. 42 breaking down to a six, a six excuse me. <laughs> you guys know how much I love the otter card. And with the rabbit card, first of all, look at those colors. Look at how identical the colors of these cards are. 
that is amazing i love it i'm getting that heavy pursuit energy from this person and with otter spirit for those who are new and don't know otter spirit is basically like my six of cups lovers two of cups card okay it's the only card of that kind i have in this deck for me as a reader um it's basically someone who will be there and support you and love you no matter what okay always have your back could it also be your guides for sure but that's not what i'm feeling right now okay <laughs> definitely feeling like this person has a lot of love for you libra and they do want to support you they do want to support you i don't think they handled this break very well okay for those where this is an old person i don't think they handled this break very well at all i think they missed you a great deal and i think it was actually again for the better i think it gave them perspective on how much they really care about you and what this connection really means to them but where those this is where this is a new person hey hey libra hey work it i'm very excited for you guys this is amazing energy it's very yummy energy rabbit spirit there is a lot of um i'm getting just like fortune fortune on the side of this connection i don't know what that's about they just show me the wheel of fortune jupiter maybe mm. there's something very abundant about this connection whatever it is it's very fertile it's very fruitful so keep that in mind if you don't want any babies as well but i'm getting a lot of fertility yeah a lot of fertility around this connection i think this connection has great manifestation energy for whatever you guys want in your life I feel like you two will be very supportive of each other, whether this is a new person or an old person. You two will be very supportive of each other. And in that support comes the fruits of your labor, comes rewards, comes results, comes benefits. Gold. I just heard gold. Like, yeah, that might have been the money I was feeling too earlier. Yeah, it's a very, very fruitful connection. Very fruitful. Let's see what else we get. That's beautiful. I love that. It's freaking amazing. I love that. All right. Any other advice from my Libras regarding this spread? Oh, I'll wait. I'll wait to show you. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Any other advice from my Libras regarding this spread? Any other advice from my Libras regarding this spread? Oh, this is a beautiful reading. I love it when we get readings like this. So we have two other cards come out. We have Koala Spirit. Spirit has a plan. 35 breaking down to an 8. Success prosperity the path you're supposed to walk this is my blueprint card in this deck this is part of your blueprint libra this person new or old it's supposed to be in your life because they're going to bring a lot of abundance to your life okay it's fruitful it's going to lead to success and it's quite yummy <laughs> it's quite yummy and then we have seahorse spirit watch and wait oh my god 53 breaking down to an eight we've got oh, I'll put it this way we've got mirror numbers Libra, while you've been sitting up in your tree, your tree, <laughs> feeling yourself, feeling all warm and cozy, feeling all good, getting in touch with yourself again, getting in touch with your spirituality again, a lot of meditation. This person's been waiting in the wings, Libra. They've been waiting for the right time, for the perfect time to come in. <laughs> oh, oh, Libra. I mean, it couldn't be more clear. It couldn't be more clear. Once you're let the sun set on whatever this is because i feel like a lot of you've already done that I feel like a lot of you have already done that i feel like it was a like very heavy past energy you get into such a state of feeling yourself and feeling so damn good following your path following your intuition feeling very confident feeling very balanced this person's been watching they've been watching they've been watching and waiting to come in to come in with love and like i said very fruitful very very fruitful union wow oh that's right we have one more card the overall <laughs> totally forgot i just heard go for it with this card antelope spirit life is speeding up with the energy of two i'm getting a lot of harmony and duality with this as well libra i'm i'm just the messenger but that's what they told me go for it it's your life you got to do what you're gonna do this is a very general reading like i said for thousands of people but that is what i heard to go for it run towards love and abundance run towards love and abundance it's part of your blueprint anyway this is something that you've been wanting this is the kind of uh connection you've been wanting for yourself for a while and where this is an old person it was there but this person wasn't ready this person wasn't ready watching and waiting they weren't ready they needed that break they needed that time remember 
they needed that time for those where this is an old person and for those as a new person they seriously might just ask you to run away with them they're like let's just let's just go away for like you know a day a weekend it'll be nice sleep right you can even have your own room come on it'll be <laughs> sorry i like i'm just loving this energy and this person is so freaking charming it's like it's it's a little it's a little much but like clearly like they, they make you smile libra they make you smile anyway I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon, check that out, along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I will see you guys later. Bye, Libras. Namaste.